Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my July 2021 base box. This is my paid box, and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Also, I know it's been kind of crazy lately. I haven't been posting, so welcome back, guys. I'm so happy to see you guys again. I just had a big move across the country, and things just got so crazy. So I haven't been able to post as much as I wanted to, but I'm back, so let's get started. BoxyCharms theme this month for July is fantasy and the base box is a subscription box that's $25 a month so if you guys are interested in purchasing I'll leave a link down below for you guys we've got my boy Max here say hi bud I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my choice item so this has been actually featured in BoxyCharm quite a bit I feel like but I still have not gotten my hands on it. And this is the Illamasqua, I think I'm saying that right, hopefully, Unveiled Artistry Palette. And the packaging is a little bit heavy, so seems like a nice quality, and it's actually soft to the touch on the actual product. And let's see what's inside. All right, so we got a little mirror, and these are the shades. Really, really pretty. We've got half matte and a half Shimmer shades. Express your individuality with 12 highly pigmented powder eyeshadows in satin matte and metallic shimmer. Each one delivers a color intense finish, allowing you to create any number of unique nude looks. From natural everyday to perfect smoky eye, and this retails for $50. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this a little bit. I only have one makeup brush right now because still unpacking, still trying to find things. So I'm gonna start out with this shade right here. I'm just using this shade as a base. And I'm gonna try to do this a little bit quick. Let's use this shade right here in my crease. Same brush as I'm low on brushes, so. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here, the darkest matte, and add this to the outside part of my eye into the crease. I think I'm gonna go in with this second golden shade right here. It's so pretty. And I'm just gonna take it on my finger and work this into the inner part of my eye. This isn't coming out as pigmented as I expected it to be. You gotta really keep going back. It looks nice on, but it doesn't pick up as nicely as I thought it would. And it's a little bit more opaque. Like getting hard in the palette, it's not picking up very nicely. And usually with metallic shades, you're better off using your fingers than a brush because it'll pick up more product and it'll come out more vibrant and more pigmented, but it doesn't seem to be the case right now. I will say it's a nice palette, but I'll have to play around with it a little bit more. But first impressions, I feel like it looks a lot nicer than the colors actually are but I will update you guys further down the road when I get to use it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna really quick throw on a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express, not from my BoxyCharm box, just to finish off the eye look and then we'll move on to the next product. But moving on to the next item, we have the Mud Mask of Vitamin Infused Eye Serum. The delicate skin around the eyes is 10 times thinner than the skin on the rest of the face, making it the first place to exhibit Signs of premature aging such as dark circles and fine lines. This eye serum contains a blend of all natural vitamin C, a superfood ingredient essential for firming the skin. With a refreshing and powerful antioxidant effect, the serum is ideal for all skin types. And this retails for $63. Quite expensive. It says it's one fluid ounce. I feel like it looks a little bit bigger than that. Eye serums, you don't need too, too much. You just use a little bit. I have a light layer of skin tint on right now. Not really doing too much for me, but I'm just gonna apply this over top and we'll see what happens. It says moisture boost, vitamin boost, feeding, nourishing, firming, reduces dark circles. My dark circles aren't too bad right now. <laughs> don't really have them luckily. I try to get my sleep. And we're just gonna tap this on, let it soak in. 
Typically what I would do with this though is I would apply it to my eye area and I would actually go on top of my eye as well, not just underneath, but just because I have makeup on right now, we're just doing underneath. So that is the eye serum. I've got to use this for a little bit to give you guys like my full update on this, but it feels a little bit cooling going on. You get a good amount of product and seems good so far. Looks like it's got some good ingredients. So glad I got this. You know, I am getting into eye serums. So definitely a good thing for me. Today's video shout out word is mud mask. If you comment mud mask down below in the comments first, you get a shout out in my next video. Next up, we have the basic beauty lip oil. And this is in the shade summer. Ready for a quick pamper session for your lips? This hydrating lip oil nourishes your lips from the inside out with coconut oil for effortless shine and instantly reduces the appearance of lip lines. This is also a BoxyCharm exclusive, so really cool that we got this in the box and it retails for $18. I feel like for a lip oil, $18 is a little bit expensive, especially because this is so tiny, but let's give this a whirl, see how it is. I'm seeing the ingredients on the back and doesn't look like the best ingredients. And it also says may contain a lot of pigments, which isn't the greatest thing. So this is what it looks like, cute packaging. I really like this and let's go ahead and try it out. This reminds me of the lip oil we got a few months ago in our BoxyCharm boxes. The one that was like blue, red, or I think there was also orange. Same texture, same scent. This one is just smaller. So I like it. It's moisturizing my lips, does its job. So it's working and it adds a little bit of extra shine to your lips. The next product we've got in our box is the Otri 8-in-1 CBD Leave-In Conditioner. So I had actually gotten this previously in my PR box as well, and I actually really like this product. This leave-in conditioner packs eight powerful benefits in one. Enhanced body and manageability, detangles hair, fights frizz, protects hair from environmental damage, balances moisture and adds nutrients to refresh hair and add shine. Retails for $30. I think it works great. I already opened one, but we're gonna open this again. Um, so it sprays out like I did in my last video <laughs> for applying it to dry hair. If you guys are applying a leave-in conditioner, it does work a lot better if you apply it to wet or, well, not wet, but like damp hair. It does work in dry hair as well, but it's better if it's damp. So as you guys can see, it softens my hair really nicely and really, really helps with the frizz. My hair is so crazy frizzy. I have a very oily face and scalp and then my hair, like past my ears, it gets so dry and frizzy. These types of products really, really, really work well for me. It smells good too. It's nothing too overpowering. I think at first I didn't like it too, too much, but I actually really like it now. Now that I'm filming with it again. Yeah, I really like this one. I think it is great. So that is the leave-in conditioner. The only thing I didn't like about this product is it doesn't say leave-in conditioner on the packaging anywhere on the front. So it's like, if you don't have the card to go with it, how are you supposed to know what it is unless you're familiar with the brand or if it says it online or whatever. But that's the only call out I have for this product. But other than that, absolutely amazing, love it. And then we're gonna move on to our last product in this box. This is by Beauty Bakery, and this is the Flower Setting Powder. This finely milled oat translucent flower setting powder allows you to set your concealer and foundation in place for a long day's wear. This colorless formula puts an oily face battle to rest. It will noticeably blur your pores and soften your complexion, leaving you with a beautiful matte finish and it retails for $24. So I think the packaging is cute. It was a little bit hard to get out when I took it out of the other packaging. I do have one open, so I kinda wanna leave this closed. You guys can check out my other video. I'll leave it linked up above if you guys wanna check it out and see me unboxing and using this one. It really, really helps. If you have like large pores or are oily like me, this actually mattifies your skin and you only need a little bit of the product. So it works really well. And I really like the ingredients that it's made with, you know, almond, 
cocoa and rice, which I think create the coloring to it and then other like fillers and stuff. But I think it's a really cool product and it definitely works. And I've struggled finding like good translucent or setting powders in the past. So this one is definitely a keeper. The only thing is uh, when I was opening it up, I tried to lift the sticker off and make sure you hold the base down. Otherwise the whole thing will come off and you can spill it everywhere. So just be careful with that. <laughs> But otherwise, absolutely amazing product. And I'm gonna go ahead next and add up the total of the full box, let you guys know how much it's worth. Again, I paid $25 a month for this and I got some really great stuff. Okay, so I've got my five products in my box. Really, really happy with this box. I feel like it's a great variety. We got eyeshadow, lip, face, hair, eye, they're getting so much better with their varieties. I'm loving BoxyCharm lately. I feel like the past few months before, it was just kind of like scrambled and like it wasn't the best varieties. Like you were getting the same things. And it's just, it's nice to have different stuff. And I'm huge on skincare. I absolutely love skincare, but we were getting a lot of skincare serums and stuff like that. And it's just like you get one and then you get another and you can't use everything. So they're changing things up a little bit and I like that. And the total retail value of this box is $185. So I definitely got my money's worth. I will be using all of these products. I think I got a great box. What did you guys get? Let me know down below. what do you guys think of my box? And I can't wait to hear what you guys got. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below or what products you guys really liked or didn't like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys haven't, make sure to hit that like button down below. It helps me a ton. And subscribe. And if you guys leave a comment down below, I will subscribe back to you guys. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.